Hey everybody, I'm Nicholas from Leftover Content, also known as Milky Seed, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Last time we explored Cl Clanker's Cavern and unlocked this note door, and in this episode we're going to do just that and hopefully explore this new world called uh, Bubble Goop Swamp. So without wasting any time, let's begin. First thing you'll notice upon entering this is this giant grunty statue that'll haunt you to the end of time. For now, don't worry about it. And if this honeycomb piece is any indication, I already walked in here. And didn't go much further than two more steps after that. That is because I actually forgot to do something, which is posted at the end of the last episode. By coming up this way, the music changes. Beyond here is... What appears to be a nice looking swamp. Get out of my way! And right over there is the world entrance to Bubble Goop Swamp. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a straight path. Now if we come into... Is it this one? Yes! My fat old sister's favorite spot. Why'd you stop? Although she's dim, she attended St. Dunball's school. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is blowing balloons up with her butt. My fat old sister's favorite sport is belly bar. Be belly barking? What's belly barking? Anyway, coming into the other tunnel, we'll come across these strange hopping boots. I didn't expect them to sound like that. Anyway, walking across this bridge may seem a little dumb, and you might even see collectibles down there, which you probably definitely run, don't you? Well, if you jump into the water... This is piranha water! Keep your smelly feet out! Yes, you will be attacked by piranhas, so don't try it. Those piranhas will attack you constantly, and you definitely will not make it to wherever you want to go normally. But without wasting any time, let's enter Bubble Goop Swamp. Ooh, I forgot to do something. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> Shit. Yep, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean the curse. <sighs> Whatever. So in Bubble Goop Swamp, I can't remember off the top of my head how many Mumbo Tokens there are. I believe that there is 10 Mumbo Tokens and 3 extra lives. Anyway, Bottle says that there's a move that you want to learn. Well, if we come over here, he's literally right here. These are the warding boots. Chicken legs wears them so you can safely ward. Oh my god. All of a sudden, I just can't read bottles. Okay, chicken. Er, let's grab a pair. Great, I need all the boots in the swamp. That's such a... God, oh, I'm gonna do that to the end of time because I'll have my car. Anyway, you see this metal crocodilly? Simply go up to it and... I don't go on top of it. And shoot eggs into his mouth. Yummy! Crocodilly's like that. And then a new one will spawn somewhere else. Me want yummy egg too! You're gonna have to go around this entire level feeding those guys eggs. Coming up here, we'll get you some red feathers if you need them. And then you can grab these warding boots. What these warding boots are needed for are actually this mumbo token right over here. Okay, game, whatever you say. That's the first mumbo token. I do believe that there are 10 mumbo tokens and 3 extra lives. I'm not 100% sure of that. We'll figure it out as time goes on, because I'm pretty sure I'll grab most of them. Yeah, I saved it, and then I didn't save it. Banjo Kazooie's camera hurts my soul greatly. Let's grab our first Jinjo. And I started this recording up, and I was gonna try to do something. To, oh god, the water! Look at it. Uh, emulation. Just take care of this guy. Get out of here. Give me your health. He was pooping out on a whole feather. Bubble Goop Swamp, I don't think, has a lot of interesting trivia associated with it. I believe it actually has none. But, um, let's see. Let's go over this way first. We're going to ignore that big old switch right there. And come over here. By grabbing these warding boots, we can make it to the other side. Yes, we could ride the leaf, but we need the warding boots so we can grab these notes. Now, if I remember correctly, I don't think it's this. Yes, there is an extra life right here. 
You're gonna have to hit these eggs in the X. Meaning, yeah, you're just gonna have to hit it in the X. And once you hit all of them, oh, that, you get someone you have to do something specific. By hitting all of them, you'll get your first Jiggy. First Jiggy within five minutes. Jeez, that took a while. Anyway, now what you have to do is wait for the leaf. Get off Kazooie. Come up here to grab our second Mumbo token. Jump down. Very easy. I don't know why, but I feel like I feel like the need to just try and do this as okay to do this game as fast as possible. Anyway, what you're gonna want to do is hit this switch, and this will make a jiggy appear. However, this jiggy is time sensitive. Time sensitive. You will only have 45 seconds to grab it. I was about to say minutes. Man, I wish I had 45 minutes to grab this jiggy. If you want to try to grab all the notes along the way, feel free. This is very, I want to say, very strict. I'm actually doing very good. I'm just gonna jump across and grab it like that. Wow, I did that really fast. I remember that being way harder, but that nets us our second Jiggy, and we did grab every single note along the way except for those two. I think I did really good. Coming up here, we'll get you a Jinjo. Well, I did really fast. I'm very happy with myself. Normally, that is a Jiggy I struggle with for a very long time. Yeah, they try to distract you with goodies, and a lot of times, I sometimes I don't notice that. Grabbing that will give us our third Mumbo token. And here's another Crocodilis, which we will throw up an egg into his mouth. <laughs> Doing that will cause another one to spawn somewhere else in the world. Yeah, you're gonna be going back and forth with that man. And I'm gonna come up to this guy and make sure there's nothing behind him. Yeah, there's nothing behind him. Now, going back down to where we were just a few moments ago, if we jump across to this leaf, and then onto this... Er, an ugly, hairy trespasser! He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all! You have to fight all of these frogs. I believe these frogs... I'll take two hits, unlike their red counterparts. The aerial is typically your best attack. Because it can hit them while they're on the ground and while they're in the air. This part of the game is just insane. I have died here before. And it's because I'm really bad at Banjo Kazooie's like attack. Like Banjo Kazooie to me doesn't have combat. Blurb. You're too tough for us, Frip. Let's take our gold. Defeating all of them nets you a jiggy. What, what do you think the gold was going to be? And let's just grab it. That's three jiggies already. Now coming over this way, we can grab ourselves three, mo three notes. And there's a shock pad. Go up here, and this looks like it's from Mumbo's Mountain, but ground pound it. And just rinse. Sometimes you just don't quite make it. Under this one is some notes and a grunty switch. Hit it to reveal a. Okay, that looked really weird. I said to reveal a jiggy, but it actually opens up the path to a jiggy. And we're not going to point out how it disappeared before the screen transitioned. Jump up here, ground pound this to get us another shock pad. Oh, that's the wrong way! It's this way, Nick. I always like to try to do it like this, where I try to aim from across the thing. No, each time you do this, they actually do get faster. Why can I not hit this man? Got him! And that one appears somewhere else that we haven't seen yet. Uh, actually, all of these appear somewhere where we haven't seen yet. We got this mumble token. Hover back. Come up here. There's obviously this, there's no more huts left. Obviously, this one. But here's a jiggy. Man, we are zipping through this world. Now that I'm in here, oh man. Bubblegoop Swamp to me is not a world where I have a lot of memories in simply because, well, I always kind of got past this world really quickly. I don't, I really remember not liking it as a kid and playing it back, I do kind of like it. Just not as much as, you know, other worlds. Coming over here. Oh, my feet are so numb and cold. In order to warm his feet up, 
You slam on it! Oh, that's a big bird. I don't know why this makes you feel better. Maybe he's a masochist. But whatever, each their own. Do that to each of these. Once you do that to all four of them, he'll cough up a genie. Tank tops warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. I don't know why everyone in this world has a Jiggy, and there was something I've been meaning to discuss when it comes to Banjo-Kazooie. Are these different places in, like, Banjo's world, or are they all actually within, uh, Grunty's lair? I've always wondered that. No! You ding -a Come up here and you can grab these boots, the warding boots, and grab the orange ginger. There's nothing over here as far as I can tell. So... Why don't we stop playing around and, you know, get eaten by a turtle? Upon coming in here, there are some notes to grab. Going behind this guy will get you a mumbo token. Yeah, we're just going to ignore him. Are there notes on the other side? Yes, there are. And if you want to complete a, if you want to be a complete boho, choir please, framers tip, tip top chord, choir will now perform my latest work. I'm, that's short, isn't it, shell boy? We'll see, copy what you just heard for lesson one. I actually already forgot what it was. I believe it was. This guy? Yes, you make him talk by ground pounding him. Amazing. And then it If you get one wrong, I believe it hurts you. Mm, not too bad. Try lesson two. Okay. Uh, I actually have a lot of problems with memory games. I'm really bad at them sometimes, and I don't know why. This one in particular, for some reason, always gets me at some point. I always mess it up at some some way or another. I believe if you mess it up, it's a different pattern. I believe that's it, right? Yes. Ah, splendid. You just need one more lesson. Oops, I hit the mic. Oh, you bitch. I don't like this one. I are I, I I I don't really remember it. I forgot. I forgot. Ladies and gentlemen, I forgot. And then it was this one. And then I think it was yellow. What? No, that's not right. Try again or ask me to repeat it. The last one. I, I, okay. I think I know what it was now. It was this guy. Then blue. What? Did it change? What kind of sham are you having? I knew you needed to see this one again. Bitch! Ma. What? So, why did it hurt me? So, it's this bastard, like I thought, and then it's this bastard. Why did I get it wrong? Some of that bullshit, if you ask me. And it's you. After hitting all of them... Magnificent. A true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. He will reward you with a jiggy. Oh my god, I can't believe that. I don't know what's wrong with me. Sorry, there's nothing more I can teach you. Doing so will get us our six jiggy, but long jumping up here will get us the first honeycomb. And with that, I think it's a good place to end that off. So next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we will explore the rest of Bubble Goop Swamp. See you all next time. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.